Good evening and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 16 modded. We're back with the Badai's class trip, Badai's high school class trip of 5500. And uh, we have a rampaging muffalo on the way in. Uh, which means we need to send out a group to hunt it quick before it gets to be a problem. Which means that we need to put a couple people on the case like Logan I think has a weapon. Yes he does. Uh, I'm going to reload that right away. Um, and then who else has a weapon? Balone? Yes. And I'm going to draft you. Bring you out to over here. I'm going to start bringing you out over here. And then uh, once Logan's ready to go, I'm going to draft him as also. Reload, buddy. And head over here. He's only got four rounds left. Okay. This isn't great. All right. As long as we can take this muffalo down without rel with, with relatively few problems, we'll be okay. Uh, let's make sure that it's not going to attack anybody else. Let's get out in front of it. Be in front of Darby there. Let's not let uh, Darby take the full force of this thing here. We need more ammo. We need a trader. Oh, we need a trade beacon for sure. Yeah, totally. Uh, okay, Malone, take the shot. Not yet. Not yet. Wait till you can see the whites of its eyes. Fire! Fire's pretty quick, that handgun. Okay, time to back up. And then, yeah, just run away and Logan's gonna shoot it. There you go. Teamwork. I love it. Well done, you guys. Uh, undraft. Undrafted. And, uh, somebody haul this back home. That'll be some good eating. Alright, so we have the classroom working on right now. Uh, last time we were setting this up and we'll be able to have our, our two leaders do some classes there. Lumi, our class president, and Halone, the teacher uh, representative, are working together here. Uh, last time we took, I think it was Logan out uh, to cut some wood, and he's a little bit weakened actually, so that was probably a mistake. Someone pointed out in the comments as well. Um, he's not that weakened. I mean, manipulation is okay, so he should, she, she should be fine, he's just moving is slow. So he probably would take longer to get there. Also cannot hear very well. Uh, maybe Darby would have been better to go. Yeah, he's probably better to send. Uh, and then we want to tame this elephant, train him up, so if we can see if we can possibly get them uh, to haul things. Someone said in the comments that they can't, no matter what, they won't haul things. And uh, I'm curious if they will or not. So we're going to try it, and if not, there is a mod that can let it do us for us. And I'm sure the mod wouldn't exist if it just could happen that way. So, yeah, I'm sure that once we do the obedience here, it won't work. But we do have a mod in waiting. Uh, if we're going to go on another trip today, I will make sure I install that mod before we do it. Otherwise, we'll just leave it until next episode if we're not going to go any more trips. The wood for the classroom was the big deal, and we got it all done now anyways, so it's good. And now, let's take a look at your quick schedule. Okay, cool. So, assign teacher to roles to teacher buttons. Okay, so the blue teacher is Lumi. The, uh, oh. Interesting. So we can't have them teach anything because they're not good enough at it. That is an interesting problem to have. You guys got to elect be better leaders is the, is the case there. Uh, you're not going to be a very good leader then, Malone. I mean, she is. The, the benefit is she's giving a buff to everyone, uh, boosting boosting the shooting accuracy and all that stuff, which is great. But yeah, we need to be able to teach. We need to be able to teach people. So what did it say? It said... An eight, I think, for shooting. Uh, for her, she's at a six for melee. Um, is that was is that what it said for sure? Let's take a look here to make sure. Blue teacher Malone needs an eight in shooting or melee, and Lumi needs an eight in research. So research is the science person. What is Lumi's research right now? Well, Darby would be the better better person for uh leadership then. He's a twelve. He could totally teach a class. Yeah. Well, that's the people they elected. They made a mistake if that's the case. Well, all right. Well, we'll deal with it next time. Next time they have an election, we'll be okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we want to do over here. Hunting these guys down a little bit, maybe. We have room for some more meat, I'm sure. Actually, now that we have this muffalo, I don't know if we do. Uh, are these people taking raw meat? Where are you putting that? Oh, you're putting 153 muffalo meat outdoors? Are you kidding me? No. No, this doesn't go bad so quickly. Uh, okay. 
What can we do? We need so much more power if we're going to do anything. Um, what I could do is, is box this in and make it a cooler right here. Maybe rearrange the way things are working in here. I don't know. Yeah, that's a problem. That muffalo meat's going to go bad so quickly. And these potatoes aren't. I mean, I should take these potatoes out of here. Uh, let's see. Storage, raw food, no vegetarian, just animal products and meat. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to have her haul these things. Like potatoes, move them elsewhere. Because I want the meat to go in here. I'm just have her, like... Can I have her haul these out of here? We only have we only have room for one stack in there. What we need to do is is do more like five more meals is what we should do. That way she'll use up more. I guess twenty makes sense then. Having twenty on hand. Uh, someone who whoever whoever do meals should get on that now. Malone, yeah, Malone. Oh, I would rather use meat though. Uh, you know, just a little thing like that. All right, so somebody should use the rest of that meat up. There you go, five. There you go. Okay, use potatoes for it, I guess. Hunter next lacks weapon. Oh, you're out of ammo. Okay, so stop hunting then. Uh, turn that off then. All right, no hunting. Um, this I, I guess I forgot they were hunting muffalo over here. We need ammo badly. Are we have to send somebody on a trip to one of the places now to see if we can trade for some ammo? All right, let's go back to the world map here quick. Let's see. What's the closest place? How many meals would we have to take with them? We could take, we could handle, send them like with five meals or so. And if we can get there in a day and a half or so, I mean, it's still nice enough out that we could get there. We need to take some silver with them to trade for. We don't really have anything we can sell off that's a good byproduct though. Silver is not great for trading. Uh, okay, so there's a trade post over here. The, crimin the criminologist Mesa. Interesting. Criminologists, interesting. I was just thinking maybe maybe another class class landed here, another, another portion of the the school trip here landed there in the criminology department. Is there, what, do most high schools have a criminology department? No, they don't. But it could. Air Air Hope at the desert. Glupia, Glubico, Glubico. How many days would it take to get to there? And Ryan's still. Oh, this is this is the name of the place. Uh, Orion inst Orion's inst installation is the name of the place. That sounds like a Orion installation. It sound, kind of sounds kind of like science-y, doesn't it? It kind of sounds like a science research expedition or something like that. Okay, so we need to go from here to here. Can't be that far. This will be a big, tough part to travel through, but they can probably walk around it pretty much quickly. So I'll send Darby out. Darby, uh, you are digging a marble currently. I'm gonna. S oh wait, first of all, we need this elephant to work. Let's see if this elephant works. Prioritize training. Train this elephant. I command it. Train him good. Make him pay attention. Teach him some obedience. Nope. Hey, we got it. Okay, cool. So now let's take a look and see about the, the map again. And Fort Caravan. Elephant cannot haul still. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, save the game here, reload with that mod installed, and then we can just make this bad boy haul some stuff. That'll be awesome. Let's do it. All right, we're back. Nothing seems like it's broken. Uh, let's check the world map again here now. It's going to lag out again because it always lags out the first time you open it when I reload the game. But after that, it's usually fine. And then we can form caravan from that and get an idea of how long it's going to take us. So form caravan and he can haul 560 kilograms. That's perfect. That's a lot of weight. And it makes sense that an elephant will be able to haul stuff. I mean, come on. So we're going to send Darby this time because he can walk a little bit quicker. And should we set him with all of our silver? And what else can we send him with? We'll keep the leather. We can make some good stuff out of that fox skin too. We should probably consider doing that pretty soon. Uh, the knife can stay. Darby has a weapon. No, he doesn't. So he's going to be on his own for that. Uh, five meals or so. Seven meals? three days worth of food okay I think that's fine I think three days is enough to get there I, I really considered I think that's enough I think that's enough and if not we'll buy some food and get there or stop for camping and 
and pick some stuff. I think even like five meals are probably enough. 2.9 days, that's perfect, okay. About three days worth of food for six meals. Perfect, okay. So, and we'll have him exit from the south. All right, that should do it. Uh, sending Darby on an expedition. Let's do it, buddy. 2.9 days worth of food, yep. And he's gonna leave the area here. Good to go. All right, let's let him do his thing. And we'll check back in with him in a second. Let him gather stuff up. He's taking all of our silver off. He's gonna go trade it for some magic beans. Or, or magic, by magic beans, I mean bullets. Now, I don't know. In this mod, it sounds like the... It sounds like all the guns take ammo. And I'm nervous that the, the security turrets are gonna take ammo also. So, I'm gonna focus on building some walls here now. Uh, let's see, we have 75 marble blocks. What we want to do is seal off the ways they can come in. Uh, I would love to build a wall straight across here. How much block would that take? There was a mod that added uh, some some ways that blocks changed, uh, so that you can't uh, so you can so walls are built like with smart blocks, so that they uh, they will use whatever's available. It's kind of a cool idea. They'll just use whatever blocks are available to build it. I just because most people don't care how it looks. Um, the the benefits are the same, the beauty is the same for all of the blocks. So there's no reason you need to like, use specific stuff. I told him to go to south, right? And now he's going down like, over here? Ridiculous, why is, he taking, why is he taking the long way across? He's gonna have to take a nap before he even gets out of the place here. Great, he's gonna eat before he even like, leaves the area. All right, so I'm gonna seal this off here. That'll stop them from coming in the back way. Uh, I'll put in a seal here maybe? And use like maybe another four blocks from this. Let's see, we have granite. What do we have? A lot of marble. Marble. Okay, so the seal's off there. We don't want to limit ourselves too much either, but. Alone got food poisoning, okay. Caravan ready. Okay, pause it. Let's go check it out. Jump. Alright, how many days is it going to take to get there? I can't just see how many days it would take. It's gonna take uh, one. It's gonna take two days and 18 hours to get there. So that's like all of our. That's gonna take all of our food to get there, basically. All right, he better buy some food when he gets there. Or he could stop for food and pick some food, maybe. All right, let's let him go. And we'll check in with our people. All right, psychic short is ending. That's great. One of our guys escaped its grasp, anyways, so it's good. It's good. So that muffalo meat, it did make it in here eventually. Yes, it did. Good. They're making meals out of it already. Fantastic. That helps a lot. I guess that's the trick, is we gotta just keep making meals. Malone failed constructing. Okay, we can handle that. Start thinking about defenses. I think is the idea, and then we're forcing them all the way through around here. And we have a lot of cover over here for attacking, which is perfect. We can put some sandbags up for defense. I think sandbags will make a better, bigger difference in this one than they do in other ones. But again, we don't have any ammo for anything, so it's not like we can just uh, attack um, willy-nilly here now. And accuracy matters, so having those extra points of, you know, having those extra points of in your character's uh, skills helps a lot. So we should have a wall like this and a wall like this. And then we'll branch out from here and maybe get up to here somehow. Or like go up and then over maybe. Yeah, we'll do that. That's going to take a lot more blocks than we have though. But we're slowly cleaning up around here with all the blocks and everything. Uh, we're out of power of course because there's no sun today. It happens, it happens. If we can like maybe seal this off too, maybe force them through the canyon a bit more. I guess the other, the other trick we could do is force them through this way. But there's not a lot of cover this way is the only concern I mean it goes both ways there's not a little cover for them either so he's gonna take all day to get there I mean I guess we're it's gonna take us two days to get there in game and uh, it takes him the same amount he's sleep, probably sleeping right now so the best thing I can do is probably speed this along today otherwise we're not gonna get there before the end of the episode plus we're still everybody's sleeping now at this point <clears throat> So, uh, we need better bedrooms. Everyone's mad about that. 
expand these out a little bit. Hey, a friendly AI from your past named Carlin Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals a starship hidden on the planet. He sends you its world coordinates. If you travel the ship, Carl Charlin will take you off this world, this uh, this room world, to the stars. How far away is that? Uh, okay. It is here. We are... We might not be able to get there. Uh, let's see. Where's our home? I can't even tell where our home is. I don't want to click the uh, map thing because we're going to... Oh, let's pause it here. Minor break risk. Probably looking in the wrong spot completely. It'll be like a light blue dot, won't it? Why can't I jump to home? Is there a way to do that? I guess in this update it adds in drop pods. Okay, so we're here. And it is... Basically the other side of the planet. We have to travel a whole half planet to get there. Uh, yeah, we could make drop pods maybe and get there. But that's going to take some time. By that point, we're just better off making our own ship then. So, alright, we'll consider it. If we really wanted to be nomads and caravan over there, we could. But, yeah, that'd be a lot of work, honestly. Alright, let's speed it along here again. Let them work on their things here. Pretty much they're good here. Sweepy's got a minor break risk, but she's always going to have that. Darby's not nearly there yet. He's going to have... Let's see. Terrain here. This is going to take a day to cross, right? About two, two and a half hours. 14 hours for that one. He's probably going to avoid that then. Two and a half. Two and a half. Alright. Well, good luck, buddy. Good luck. Well, we'll let him be... Party! Oh no! Darby's not invited. They're throwing a Darby going away party, or Darby's. Dar oh, you know what it is? They uh, they're like, oh, the chaperones are gone. Let's uh, throw a party. And uh, Malone's like, what are you doing? You can't throw a party in here. And yeah, we need a better party room. Also, we need somebody to clean. This place is a mess. All right, cleaning day before the party. Everybody cleans. It's a new rule. Everyone cleans before the party. It is a real mess in there. All right, we need to fix the floor in here. We have probably have enough blocks to do that now. We need blocks for the walls, though. Walls are probably more important than floors at this point. So, let's keep building the walls, then. Uh, structure... What we could do is put some embrasures over there, too. Like, do embrasure for part of this. Uh, let's see, granite block. Embrasure. Party's finished. That was a quick party. Everyone got a mood boost except for uh, the people who weren't there. So, not granite, marble. Yeah, we got 117 marble. So, I'll go like this and make an embrasure over here. That way, if guys come from this side, we could uh, still attack them. Alright, that's probably too many blocks. We'll see how far we get. And Sweepy is still making more, so that's good. And everybody's mood should be helped a little bit. How's Sweepy's mood now? Oh, she's gonna get through her addiction now. Uh, no attended party. No intended party. Where is, uh, everybody else? Elected. He could see attended party. Did she not go? What? Malone? Huh. Alright. Logan had a party by himself, I think, is what happened. No one showed up to his party. We need to really figure this place out. It's not... It's looking kind of messy. Cleaning up happened pretty quickly. I also am not putting walls under... Or door floors under doors. Someone pointed out that out to me too. Um, so we'll put those in here. Let's see any place that's missing it. Right there. Just something there to knock the dirt out. Okay, so we got pretty far with the wall. <clears throat> if people come from this side, that'll be pretty good. Oh, wow, we got even further than I thought. And this is the embrasure here now. 
right? Or not yet? Did I do the embrasure? Let's cancel some of this. I wanted to put an embrasure here. Oh, it looks like he's going to put the blocks elsewhere now. He moved them and now he put them back over here. Alright, whatever. Now we're going to have a big hole right in the middle of our place, though. That's okay, though. We can plan around that. We should have more blocks soon. Cargo pods. What do we got today? Okay, we really got to do something with all this clothing. Because it could be a really good cash crop for us. The problem is... We don't have a lot of power. Our workroom kind of is getting kind of cramped. Let's see. Uh, where can we put a electric tailor bench? Right here. Perfect. Nice big workroom. We need more solar power than two. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think it's time. So let's put in another solar panel. Right here. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, somebody pointed this out in the comments before. Yeah, I totally forgot about this. The, uh... The, the wind turbine was not connected before. There's no really way around it besides... I mean, it's, if, if we have a desert, it's going to always break. We just got to pay attention to that, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we lost a, a panel there at some point, and that's the reason why we're not getting so much power, I'm sure. Actually, so we might not need this extra panel here, then. Let's wait on that. Let's wait on that before we do that. Okay, so... Let's just build that one little block there, and someone can work on that right away. And that should get us back in good shape here. Malone's food poisoning. Okay, let's back see how far Darby got. Man, Darby, you're never gonna get there, buddy. You're never gonna get there. With days, Darby's gonna be gone. Days and days and days away. Uh, we should probably finish up the floor in here. I don't think it needs to be too pretty. Let's just put something on the floor here. Metal tile, labor intensive, five. Concrete's too ugly, I think. Cave tile is neutral, slow to build, and this is material and labor intensive, but it looks nice. Alright, let's have a nice room here at least. Alright, let's do it. It's gonna take up a lot of our tile, but it'll be okay. Now, how far do we get here? We have a little gap here, a little gap there. All in all, not too bad. And Sweepy's making more granite blocks for us. Working on granite next. Oh, I think it did marble through all this. I had a break for sweet pea. Eighty-two percent. We're gonna get through her through her addiction. She's gonna get like shot in the head or something like that. That's the way it's gonna go. cloth and date sweet pea really all right she's just a daze she'll be she'll snap out of it in a minute well yeah darby's gonna take like, a bunch of time I mean, I, we we were used to the previous let's play where we had uh we could delete the other colony it would travel really really quickly which was kind of nice but now not so much is there something we want to do back here with the classroom Let's think about that. Let's actually put in orders to mine back here. So we'll mine this out like this. And maybe we can add like an addition onto here for something. Like maybe like another bedroom onto here. Like so the, the teacher can, the leader can stay in a bedroom here. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. So we can put like the nice, the nice leader rooms off of the, off the classroom here. Each of the classrooms will have an attached room, which will be kind of nice. And it'll be where the leaders can stay. I like that idea. Cargo pods again. Holy cow. Thanks, Randy. Wow. Meats. Labrador. Ugh. Well, bring it in. That girls can't be choosers. We'll have to do, I guess. Why is Malone be barfing, barfing on her work everywhere? Don't barf on your work. You gotta stand in it while you make your floors. Probably kneel in it while you make your floors. That's gross. Alright, so that should help with the dustiness in the rooms here. 
This room is still starvation for who? Sweet Pea. Oh, Sweet Pea's in a daze still. The kind of wandering. She'll, she'll pass out eventually. One last piece of floor there. And we got floors everywhere. Nice. And in the gaps that I missed before. Perfect. Okay, so uh, let's see if there's a research we need to do for... Carpet making would be one thing that we might want to do. Let's see, hydroponics maybe. Uh, television, no. Auto doors, maybe. Hydroponics next then, I think then. So either either turrets require a, a person to get ammo for them, or they require someone to man them. I don't. I think it might require both actually. But we did research those, so now we can put a security turret down. Barbed wire. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, wooden steel. Okay, here we go. We just put like barbed wire through here, and we put a, like a turret on the side here. That'd be kind of fun. And then we put like a. Uh, should we put like a some security stand bags in here then? Like this. And then we put the we'll deconstruct this. Deconstruct this, cancel these. Then we can build that last spot there. And then we have like a nice little spot for the turret to go. Put an auto turret like right here. I like that plan. And then what we'll do is do power. Power's still not holding up quite yet. We'll go power off of here, power through here. Power through here, power through here. And then we'll put a power switch on like the corner here. And then, oh, Kermit's around out of food. Wait, 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 wait. Darby, why are you running out of food already? Oh, really? Oh, really, fool. All right, well, let's make have him make camp quick here. And he can pick some food here. Or hunt some... He hasn't a weapon. He can pick some food, at least. Uh, let's go architect. Or, yeah, let's go har harvest. A lot of the stuff in these isn't very grown, but it's better than nothing. All right, let's see what he finds here. Should have given him a sleeping bag so he could stay out on the road. Yeah, it was probably a good idea if we give him a sleeping bag. I don't know if they'll use it if it's... Yeah, I really don't know if they'll use it. Alright, let's see if we can get anything out of these. Heal root, yeah. Heal root, yeah. And food? Harvest failed. Yeah, there's a chance they're going to fail all of these harvests here. There we go, 17. Okay, there's at least some food. Enough to get you to where you're gonna go, I think. So let's let him do his thing. Make sure to check back on him before we forget. Alright, what are we working on here? Major break risk, minor break risk for Sweet Pea. We're working on the, the turrets over here. Yeah, so we have 81 granite now. Let's cancel these. Finish it up with granite. Because I guess we could make cover for our people here, and then we don't have to worry about the cover of the... Yeah, we don't have to worry about the cover over here, and this will be much easier to seal off over here. we we'll granite up through here. 35. Granite through here. it will double these up eventually, too. There we go. Now, we need a good way to come in and out, though. We'll figure that out later. For now, let's do that. Now, let's take a look and see. Make sure don't forget about Darby. How's he doing in here? He's got 30 some meals here. Another 20. Okay. How you doing, buddy? Is that it? Is that all you got? Wandering. Okay. All right. Um, back to the world map. Reform caravan. Yes. Then grab all the items. Grab that. Grab that. And he's got 2.1 days worth of food again. He's good. Okay. So they're going to start moving again. Oh, no. He's not. He's not going to start moving again. There he goes, now he goes. So it's gonna be one more 19 hours to get there still. And we'll get back to the team here. Alright. Major break risk for Sweet Pea again. Oh man. Go juice addiction is getting worse. Spacious interior. Really? Spacious interior for this one? No, not anymore. Okay, good. Like this room is a spacious interior. 
That's kind of nice. Yeah, this is going to be really cool. This is going to be really cool. And then she can make the barbed wire around here. And then people have to walk across barbed wire to get in and out. Perfect. Perfect, perfect system. Or walk over the barbed wire. Let's take a look and see what barbed wire says as far as uh, stats here. Cheap defense system that slows enemies down. Yeah, so it slows enemies down. I don't think it damages them. It just slows them down. Uh, we could have like lines of barbed wire. It's really cheap to build actually and quick to build, I'm sure. Just one wood and one steel. We're out of wood? Are we really? No, there's lots of wood. Just bring it over, guys. All right, let's let them do their thing here. And actually, we probably need to wrap this episode up pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, we got our barbed wire defense, though. I like that. We got Darby on an expedition. I like that, too. And we should be ready for a raid whenever that happens. Okay, now, let's see here quick. Um, does it require ammo? Yes, it does. It does require ammo. Um... Yeah, this may be bad. Let's reload this and see what happens. Maybe it doesn't require ammo? Let's see what happens. Can I have Malone reload this? Oh, the re they reload? They okay. Now the question is, do we have to have them man it? Let's draft, draft you. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I, I thought I'd have to man these, but I guess not. Undrafted. Um, let's turn this off for now, then. And we'll make sure people are set up to flick switches. As a one. There. There, so people flick the switch when they walk past it, then. And minor break risk, okay. Why aren't we deconstructing this? Lumi, can you go deconstruct this? I just want this to be done over here. Then we can wrap up this episode. Alright, cool. Alright, so we'll wrap it up there. We got the beginnings of a somewhat, somewhat, some, what, nice base here. Um, what we'll do is, uh, maybe we'll make some more defenses here eventually, too. Uh, make this a little bit better, and then we'll have to have a way of getting in and out still, because we don't have that still. Uh, we need some deadfall traps, or maybe we can use the barbed wire to slow them down. I don't know exactly what the best way of doing this is going to be. Um, with the embrasures, we might be able to set up a cool system with oh, shields. Excellent cover from gunfire. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's do this. Let's put like a shield here and a shield here. And then people can stand behind those and fire out. I like that idea. Stone shields. That's awesome. All right. Well, we'll get to that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of RimWorld modded. I'll be back for another one very, very soon. I uh, should be trying to do these every other day. I have been falling behind a little bit this week because I've just been busy with the kid. Uh, he's going through teething right now, so it's uh, tough to get some sleep usually. But I'm trying to do the best I can to get these out as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys back next time I have an episode. Have a good night.